What up though guys? As you can see, I'm here with another mukbang. Hey, and I'm background change from the taste tester. Cause I had to wait for my food to get ready and it was tripping. And my editing was tripping too. But I just have a little pasta uh, with tuna in it and veggies. I have broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms, red, green, bell peppers, and some onion and seasoning. Seasoning to perfection. All right, let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Would you like a piece of broccoli? Mm. Mm. Y'all are so good. And I got two different types of pasta. I have spaghetti and I have this. I don't know what them call, but they good. And I didn't have enough spaghetti to um, make enough to last me. So, that's why I use two different pastas. Mmm, delicioso. Did I get a thumbnail? Let me get a thumbnail. In my sauce, I use lemon, heavy cream, and like the little Italian blend cheese, shred, shredded cheese. I poured that in there. But you can't really see it. It's not dry, but so flavorful. Jeez Louise. Let me get a little bite with everything. Both pastas, meat, and a little broth. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you. I mean, let me eat it on the fork, right? Perfecto. No, that's not what I was trying to say. Perfecto bite. <laughs> if I can get it together, okay? Go ahead. Take a bite. Take a bite. Open up way. Okay. Mmm. It's the seasoning for me. Okay? Mmm. It's the seasoning for me. Well, pasta so simple. So simple. I've been eating a lot of pasta, but it's easy. Mmm. I didn't have a topic for y'all. But I guess we can get into it. Hmm. I don't know if I want to get into it though. Yeah. I don't want to get into it. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. This pasta good. Maybe I should just eat and shut up, you know, because sometimes y'all just want me to uh, want me to eat and shut up. And, you know, I can do that. You know, just eat and shut up and be quiet. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I really want to talk about this. I'm going to talk about it. Okay? It's about Facebook. If you have a Facebook comment below, you know. So, about five years ago, I posted something in some group I'm in. I don't remember what it was, because it was five years ago. I don't remember what I did five weeks ago, let alone five years, okay? Facebook tells me that it was child pornography. And I'm locked out of Facebook for 72 hours. And this is when I first got back from New York, which was last week sometime. When I actually tried to get on Facebook and upload stuff, you know. And so, I was like, I'm locked out. 
for a child I don't even have no kids and I ain't no way and I know that's not what they mean but I don't even have any kids where what I mean is I wouldn't be putting children on my page or you know anything like that where I would have them if it's not my immediate family excuse me it's the broccoli for me um so I was like, well, what, what, what is it? What is it? They don't show you what it is. They just take it off. And it was from a group, a group that's private that no, no children, nothing but adults can see from five years ago. So I got locked out of Facebook last week for something I posted five years ago. Can somebody make that make sense to me? And then don't show me what it was. So what if I repost it? I don't even remember what it was. Child or not, I know I ain't putting nothing up there about no child, nothing, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, when people, kids, period, period. I'm like, what the he's he? From five years, I don't even know what it was, y'all. But it was five years ago. But I'm, but I was locked out right after I got back from my trip. I was like, okay. Some comments I saw coming through, I couldn't even respond. Then when I tried to go back to find some of the comments on my Facebook from the 72 hours I was um, locked out, I couldn't even find them. So I was like, oh well. It was something from family and stuff. I was like, well. I did put on there that I was locked out, so hopefully they'll they'll know that's why I didn't respond because I normally respond to my comments, you know. But they've been really tripping. I'm like, has anybody come and blow up this happened to you? You you on Facebook or something that you posted six years ago, ten years ago, and they blocking you now? Like five years ago for something I posted in a private group. A private group. I don't even remember posting. It was five years ago. And normally guys. I post stuff that's funny. You know. Especially in the group that they said it was in. I only post funny stuff. So anyway. I don't know. But that's been on my mind. Because I was like, how in the world? I get blocked out and locked out of Facebook for 72 hours for something I posted five years ago. No freedom of speech anymore, huh? I want to bring up something that happened to me from a Facebook friend. Why you screenshot a picture of me eating from YouTube and say you turn up that chicken? My response was I hope you responded on YouTube. I hope you left me a comment on YouTube and it was good in the mug. Who screenshots you from YouTube and sends it to you to tell you your food, the food look good? I was there. I made the food. Like this good in the mud. I know it's good. You don't have to screenshot and let me know that it look good. What you can do though is leave me a comment under the video. Because I don't need a screenshot of me eating. Is that weird? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping. Who, I mean like, okay bro. I don't know if he's trying to let me know that he was watching the video. I don't know. But bro. What I don't need is another picture of me. I got plenty. Mm -hmm. I really thought that was weird. Thought it was weird and flattering at the same time. I mean, he watching the videos, but my thing is. Leave a comment. I could have responded to you on YouTube. 
What are you doing screenshotting and then sending it to my phone? And if you watching this video, don't do that shit again. It's not cool. It's not cool. Do you feel my spirit? I'm not going to say your name and you know I can. I'm going to be real respectful. Oh, yeah, I'm getting full already. Whew. This bowl was full. I only got about two or three more bites. I'm going to try to push through. But I just want to come out. Come on. I don't know how y'all feel about. I don't know if anybody, if y'all have channels and people don't screenshot that you eat and send it to you, text you, or inbox you with it. And like, what you. I don't know what else to say, but what I said. What I said, you know. And then Facebook. Five years ago? Really? Bruh. Bruh. I tell you. I just logged out. Come on, y'all can have y'all 72 hours. I got 17 other platforms. Thank you. And another page. How about that? Well, no, yeah, somebody had blocked both of my pages. I sure did. That's why I ended up signing now because they had blocked both of my pages for something I did on one page five years ago. That's me. I'm full. Y'all, I'm full. I ate almost all of it. Can you see it's almost gone? See, just a few bites. Just a few bites. Okay. Sorry, this video just a little dark and it keep going in and out of light because I'm in my room chilling. Because I had to cook this. And time I did that other video, y'all see me in this beautiful shirt and this hairdo. It's been like uh, 45 minutes. And I was like, I'm going to just go in my room and eat. Because your girl needs to sit down, get comfortable, and eat and enjoy her food. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely appreciate you guys watching or whatever. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please and thank you. Hello, all my new subs. Hello, all my old subs. And hello for the new ones to come. What up, though? Anyway, I don't want to keep y'all too long. I just thought Facebook was tripping. And then situation would the person screenshotted me eating food and then sending me the message. I just think that was a little weird. But, you know, it is what it is. Just in case he checked this video out, too, sir. Because it is homemade food. <laughs> Don't send me a screenshot of this, okay? I don't need it. I know what I look like. I know what your girl look like. Boop. Clean this mouth off. Make sure it's okay. But I do know. But I'm, finna, I'm not going to keep you long. I'm going to let y'all go. Thank you again for watching. Thank you so much for the love. You guys know I love you where? To the freaking moon. And back again. Don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget it. Have a great freaking day. Bye.